Chapter 6, Lesson 1. We are going to talk about converting units of length. Uh, we did cover conversion earlier this year, but this is going to be just a little bit more in depth. So our learning objective is you will convert customary or metric units of length from one unit of length to another by using conversion factors or powers of 10. So over here, it gives us a few examples. It says one foot is 12 inches, one yard is 36 inches, one yard is three feet, one mile is 5,280 feet, and one mile is 1,760 yards. In the customary measurement system, some of the common units of length are inches, feet, and yards, and miles. You can multiply by an appropriate conversion factor to convert between units. A conversion factor is a rate in which two quantities are equal but use different inches. So for example, one foot and 12 inches, the quantities are equal, those are the same length, but the units are different. I'm using foot or feet and inches in that, okay? So let's look at unlock the problem. In a soccer game, Kyle scored a goal. Kyle was 33 feet from the goal. How many yards from the goal What was he? So we need to convert 33 feet to yards. So choose a conversion factor. Think I'm converting uh, two yards from feet. So I know that one yard is three feet, so I'm gonna use the rate one yard over three feet. Multiply. 33 feet by the conversion factor. Units of feet appear in a numerator and a denominator, so you can divide the units before multiplying. Okay, so if we take 33 feet over one, basically we're looking at this part right here. 33 feet over one times one yard over three feet. You're gonna take the 33 times uh, one, and then one times three, so then you get 33 over 3, which is 33 divided by 3, which is 11. That is one way of thinking about it. I like to just take 33 divided by 3 because I know that's how many feet there are, and I know that there's 3 feet in every yard, so I just take the 33 feet and divide it by 3 because that's going to tell me how many yards, which is 1. Three, zero, three, one, three, zero. So I still get my answer of 11 yards. Either way you want to work this out, that is fine, but you do need to make sure that um, you're showing work. So Kyle was 11 yards from the goal. Now that we know that, let's look down here and see how many inches was Kyle from the goal. So for that one, we're going to think again, I'm converting inches, two inches from feet. So I know that there's 12 inches in every foot. So I'm going to use the rate 12 over one. So I multiply 33 feet by the conversion rate. So 33 times 12 over one, uh, which is going to be basically 33 times 12. Okay, so let's do 33 times 12. 3 times 2 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, 0 to hold our place, 3 times 1 is 3, 3 times 1 is 3, so then we add those, so we get 6, 9, and 3. So we get an answer of, got in my little space over here, 396 inches, 396 inches. So Kyle was 396 inches from the goal. It says down here on the explain, it says how do you know which unit to use in the numerator and which unit to use in the denominator of conversion factor? Uh, something you would think about is if you like using this, the conversion factors, um, the units are, use the units you are converting to in the numerator and the units you are converting from in the denominator. So the common units will simplify to one. If that doesn't make sense to you, don't worry about it. As long as you understand how to get from inches to feet, feet to inches. Metric units. 
You can use a similar process to convert metric units. Metric units are used throughout most of the world. One advantage, one advantage of using the metric system is that the units are related by powers of 10. Okay, so if we look at the metric unit, it says 1,000 milliliters equals one meter. 100 centimeters equals one meter. 10 decimeters equals one meter. One decameter equals 10 meters. One hectometer equals 100 meters. And one kilometer equals 1,000 meters. So we can reference that during our lesson. Okay, so for example, a passenger airplane is 37 and 9 tenths meters long. What is the length of the airplane in centimeters? What is the length of kilometers? Okay, so air alert. Be sure to uh, correct, to use the correct conversion factor. The units you are converting from should simplify to one, leaving only the units you're converting to. Just a little heads up. Okay, so one way that we can do that is use a conversion factor. So we know that 73 and 9 tenths meters equals blank centimeters. Choose a conversion factor. I know that there is 100 centimeters in every meter, so the rate um, that I should use there is 100 centimeters in one meter. So then we're going to multiply the 73 and 9 tenths meters by the conversion factor. Simplify the common units before multiplying. Okay, so we're going to take it times. 100 over 1. So here they simplified those meters, so we're left with centimeters. So then we take 73 and 9 tenths, and when we multiply that by 100, we need to move that decimal over two times, which gives us another zero. So that leaves us with 7,000. 300 and or 7,390 centimeters. So 73 and 9 tenths meters is equal to 7,390 centimeters. Another way, use powers of 10. This is what makes more sense to my brain. Uh, but both of them are Greek strategies. So if you use power of 10, the metric units are related to each other by factors of 10. So 73 and 9 tenths kilometer, or meters equals blank kilometers. Use the chart. Okay, so you look up here, it's got this nice chart for you. So you know if you're going to go from kilo to hecto, you're going to multiply by 10. So hecto to deca is multiplied by 10. So if you're going from kilo to deca, you're going to multiply by 10 and then multiply by 10. Okay, same thing going the other way. Millet centa, you divide by 10. So looking here, uh, we're going to use the chart. Kilometers are three places to the left of meters. So if we have meters and we're looking at kilometers, one, two, three. So we're going to move that decimal three times to the left. One, two, three, which means zero. Two, three, three, zero. Okay, so then uh, we have. Oh, I messed up my spot step. Sorry. That's why. So it goes here if you look right here. They moved it three times. So then 73 and 9 tenths meters is equal to 0 decimal 739, which is 793 thousandths.